sure. That, that's incredible. I mean, like dating back to high school, you were, I don't want to say the smartest in your class, but you were valid Victorian, right? And then uh, yeah, you were yeah. a wrestler as well. Like yeah, you mentioned, I, you got scholarships yeah. for everything that you've done. I, I was an overachiever without yeah. a doubt. So. <laughs> Would they consider but, you an overachiever though? You say you're an overachiever, but at the same time, like everybody has seen your work ethic consistently throughout the years, which has built your credibility, you know, like you're passionate yeah, about what and, you and do and that's, everything. That's one thing. Anytime anybody that's has any touch with being around me, uh, when they see success there, everybody's like, there's just, you know, no question you, you earn that. Cause that's, that's what I, that's what I do. You know, when times get tough, I work harder when I need to de-stress, I work, uh, but in a good way, you know, like a lot of it is around creating the lifestyle and working to create the things that I enjoy in my life. So it's not just like burning the candle at the office. Right. So it, it, it drives me to have a lot of time with my family and other stuff, but I'm, I have, I have to create, that's my, that's my outing. And that's really what I missed out of, you know, so I had this wildly successful by most standards, corporate career, right. So I had this career, I you know, had a house with a white picket fence, I had, you know, a, a career where I was sought after for doing what, you know, what I did, I could go anywhere, I could make tons, I made tons of money, you know, it was by anybody's standards, a great life. And I was looking around at the time going, man, this just doesn't, I'm not happy, it doesn't feel right, what am I missing? And I really love the leadership side, like being able to help people, you know, realize more than they, you know, that they could accomplish a lot more than they thought. And like, that's how you turn around businesses is turning around people. But there was just like this, this big empty missing piece. And that was really kind of my creative outlet, my ability to influence the world at a, at a greater level. And I realized that I'm, I'm more of an artist than anything and mm -hmm. definitely more of an artist than engineer. I'm not really great at putting a pad to paper. You know, I've got to got an engineering manager and an engineering team who does all the execution and stuff, but I'm like, these are the ideas right. and I'm running with it. It's all in my head. Like even a vehicle, I'll build the vehicle from ground up. It's like suspension, chassis, everything. It's all in my head. And it's not very engineering ish, <laughs> right. but I believe entrepreneurship in this day and age is the ultimate form of expression. It's the ultimate form of art. Because it's your ability to see the future, right? And be able to express what that future is in what your company, in its products, its services, whatever it is, and be able to bring that change into the world itself, as well as being able to create the culture, the community, all these things based on the values that you're presenting. So instead of you know, putting this stuff into something that is you know, on a wall somewhere, you're putting that that vision those views those values actually in place in the world in products and services and the impact that you have i mean like i really don't see that there's a greater expression of art than what you can do with entrepreneurship 